Oh, oh, hello there. Um, would you like me to tell you a Christmas story? Yes, well, very well then. I suppose I shall. Once upon a time, there was a family who went to cut down a tree. The old lady said that if we killed a tree, we would get presents. Again? Yes! Oh my goodness! But don't tell them I'm the one who's killing the tree, so I shall be getting all the presents. <laughs> they searched far and wide for this tree, the perfect tree, to get presents. This is a tree, okay? This is the tree I'm gonna cut for us this week. No, wait! But Daddy! What? No, I'm going to kill this tree and then that lady will bring me so many presents I'll never need another Christmas. No, Daddy! What? It's not too big! This isn't the right kind of tree. Oh. <laughs> See what I have to work with here. Oh, fine. I'm not the least bit happy about this, you know. I want a big tree for lots of presents from the old lady! I like this tree. It's sweet. Oh. No, darling, that's the sort of tree a loser would get. Oh, but Daddy, you like it? It's all full of other trees' leaves. Why, half the foliage comes from someone else. And look, it's wet. Uh, oh, fine, we'll get another one. Uh. We should get this tree. But, but it's so big. I don't care, I love it. But it's not going to fit in our living room. But what if I make the living room grow? Well, if you can do that, then we can get that tree, but I don't think it's possible. Oh. This is it. You found it. This is the tree. I don't think so. I'm going to cut it down, it's our tree. No, no don't. No, no, I love it. Don't cut that one down. <laughs> I love it. I love it too much. But it would be just perfect. It, ex no. it expresses my sentiments wonderfully. No, I love this tree Look, too it's much. dry, it's dead. No. Very well. Daddy, Daddy. Daddy, I like this one. Daddy, this one, please. This one? Yes, Daddy. This one. But it's alive. Daddy, cut it. Cut it, Daddy. Cut it. Cut it, Daddy. Cut it. What will you do if I don't? I won't love you anymore. I'll throw a temper tantrum. Oh, yes, you can cut it, Dad. All right, then I'll cut it. Okay. Yay! Yay! Daddy cut the tree! Yay! Yay! Cut the tree! Yay! All right, well then, do you still love me? Yes! Yes, I killed a tree. <laughs> All right, then, let's go. <laughs> Come on, then. All right, off we go. And so they packed up the tree into the car and were on their way. But what they didn't know was... I got the fig. The fig. You hear me? I have the fig. <laughs> and as they left, they didn't see the fog rolling in on the horizon. Oh, Daddy, look at all these presents. Oh, they're lovely. But wait, Bridget, they're turning into coal. Oh, dear. I have no idea. The fig! The fig! It's because you took the fig that we've got coal now. Yes, I took the fig. I love the fig. You must get rid of the fig if we're to have presents ever again. Oh dear, coal or fig? Very well. Look, Bridget! They're presents again! Yes! How do you be? Yes. And that is the story of how the fig saved Christmas. Pudding, oh, we want our figgy pudding, oh, we want our figgy pudding, and we want it right now. <laughs>